Hi there, this is Beatriz, and in this video I'm gonna be editing a portrait with Luminar AI. I'm gonna start by opening the portrait in Luminar AI. Luminar AI is a photo editing software powered by artificial intelligence. So as soon as I open my picture, it's gonna suggest, based on the type of picture, different templates. In this case, it's suggesting templates for portraits. The templates they offer are pretty cool. As you can see, there's a few different effects that you can apply to your image, and you can reduce the intensity of these templates. But I will reset the adjustments and I will edit the picture from scratch. I'll go to the Edit tab, and here you have a lot of different tools. So Enhance is a pretty cool tool because it allows you to bring back details from both highlights and shadows without hurting each other. So if you have an overexposed sky and an underexposed subject, instead of editing the highlights and shadows for this picture, you can use the Enhance tool. So it's gonna bring down the highlights and also the shadows. So as you can see, the sky is getting some of the details back, as well as the jumper. We can also use the sky enhancer, but in this case, I'm just gonna leave it pretty low because I think it's already looking quite nice. The composition tool is gonna analyze your image and suggest an alternative for your composition, and also you can change the ratio. In this case, I'm gonna keep the original image, maybe just adjust this like so. The Erase tool will allow you to erase things that appear on the background of your image or maybe if she would have a stain on her sweater or something like that, but in this case I'm also not going to use this. I'm going to modify the white balance a little bit, so bring a little bit more warmth to the picture and also add a bit more pink to it. Okay, I like how this is looking. If you want to check how the before and after of your picture looks, you can go to this icon here on the top and you can see the before and after. You can also click on this eye, so as long as you hold it, it's gonna show the previous one and when you release, it's gonna show your edited version. I'm gonna leave the exposure as it is and I feel that I don't need to also use the other parameters in this case. Let's go now to the portrait section. These are some of the coolest tools in my opinion and also what I've seen other photographers talking a lot about. Let's start with the face. So what you can do with face light is to add light to the face only, so you don't touch any other area of the picture. And you can also use the slim face, it will make the face smaller, or slimmer as it says, though I don't like this so much. As you can see, it, it kind of looks a bit distorted in my opinion. Then under face, here you have the eye and mouth section. So let's open the eyes. And in this drop-down menu, you're gonna be able to change the color of the eye. And here you can decrease the intensity. So if you just want a little bit, you can bring this down. I think she has already pretty beautiful eyes. So I'm gonna keep the original. Still, we can modify the flare in the iris, so as you can see, it lightens the lower part. It's a really nice effect, so I'm gonna use this. You can also enlarge the eyes, but it looks a bit cartoonish in my opinion, so I'm just gonna bring it down. Also, there's the eye whitening, maybe not that much, just a little bit, so that it doesn't look unnatural. And then you can use the eye enhancer to increase contrast and clarity. I don't want to overdo it, so I'll just use a little bit, like so. Beautiful. I don't need to use the red eye removal in this case, but let's go to the dark circle removal. Okay, let's keep it like that. And you can also improve the eyebrows, which basically will make them just a little bit darker. Okay, maybe this is too much as she's blonde. So the eyes are done. Let's go to mouth now. So in this tab, you can increase the saturation of the color in her lips. If we bring it all the way up, the color of the lips becomes really intense. So I'll just bring it down a little bit so that it gets a boost of color, but still looks natural. You can also add redness to the lips, but in this case, since she's already wearing a red lipstick, you don't see the effect as much. Even if I bring it all the way up to 100, it just increases again the intensity. And you can also darken them if you want to make the lipstick a bit more bold. And she's not showing any teeth, so let's just leave this area. 
Okay, so we're done with the face. So now let's move on to skin. So let's increase this all the way to the top to see the effect. This is supposed to soften the skin. Whoa, this is really good. I'm really surprised. I thought that um, this was gonna look a bit more washed out. Like the same way that when you apply blur to someone's face, it just becomes like really blurry and doesn't look natural at all. So you lose all the texture in the skin. But in this case, it preserves the texture. As you can see here, you can see all the texture. We can also try the shine removal. I don't feel like it does much, maybe a little bit here in this area on the nose. And let's see with skin defects removal. Let's see if we can get rid of these marks with this feature. Okay, it didn't seem to help. I feel like the tool that was more powerful was this first one. That was excellent. I'm not gonna use the body tool as this affects the shape of the body and the abdomen. And as you can see, there's only her face in this portrait. And same for Heike. I feel like this picture is already really nice as it is. I don't feel like I want to apply uh, this Heike effect to it. Okay, and since the skin defect removal didn't do much, I'm going to use the erase tool for this. So it works a little bit like the spot healing brush. So I'm just gonna select these two here and click erase. Okay, yeah, this worked really, really nicely. Let's just go to this area and do the same for the other sections. So it's really nice that you can actually do several at the same time. And voila, it looks perfect. I really like this tool as well. So now I'm gonna maybe add a little bit of structure, add a bit of clarity to the picture. And here you have the color tool. So same way as in Lightroom, I always increase the vibrance and I don't really do anything with the saturation. I feel it's more of a subtle boost uh, to the colors. Let's go to the hue saturation luminance section. Okay, I'm quite happy already, but let's do a bit of, let's play a little bit with the other values. And I'm gonna add a little bit of vignette. I'll just add enough so that drives even more focus to the face. So I like how this looks. Let's now open Dutch and Burn. Here we will be able to emphasize the dark areas of the image and the light areas of the image to add a bit more volume to the portrait. So let's just add natural highlights where the highlights are supposed to be. So that is here where you can see it already in the forehead here in the meters. And let's also add a little bit here on her lips and on the chin here. Very good, now let's go to darken. In this mode, we also want to darken the areas of the image that are naturally dark. Here, where you can see shadow. Maybe also in her eyes here. And here. maybe around the highlight in her nose and here as well. And I feel that this looks good. Okay, and I feel like this is it.
I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Have a nice day and see you next time.